Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your What's Up Wednesday reading. This will be a quick reading. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear and concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess. And as advice, we have the energy or, I guess, the electric card, which says, uh, figure stuff out on your own. Figure it out on your own, okay? So find it out for yourself. Find it out on your own. Aquarius, this is a time where you need to trust your gut. Trust your gut, your um, intuition. Right now, because some of you are reframing from sexual activity, you're very desirable. You're very, um, people um, are lusting after you, whether you know it or you, or you don't know it. Um, some of you are reframing from sexual activity, and that's heightening your, your uh, sensual, uh, that your sensual side, your... I don't know the word, but it's really um, making you, like, there's a different uh, pheromone smell that you give off when you are not engaging in sexual activity with another person. Um, and people can kind of pick up on that. Certain people can. Um, they may not know exactly what it is, but it's pulling somebody or pulling something to, toward you. Um, it could be a new person, a new opportunity this card specifically talks about a new opportunity for a sexual encounter if you're looking for that it also talks about new business new growth new venture new uh new vitality your immune system starting something new growing it starting a garden growing something um cultivating something here uh, the cards want you to listen to your intuition about lurkers and people lurking on your energy or people looking for the opportunity because there is an energy of the nine of wands there's somebody still looking at you or, or lurking in the in the shadows in the background um they could be looking for an opportunity to jump back in or to um get your attention the nine of wands talks about haven't been in a rocky relationship um somebody's too focused on the past and not the present um it talks about being unsure or unclear if you should fight for this energy could because there's a lot of mystery around you so someone doesn't know if you're by yourself if you're coupled if you're dating they just don't know it's just like an air a shroud of mystery with them um so much that they aren't even sleeping well at night and they may be trying to enter your energy field and also maybe even enter your dream escape. This person could be trying to, you know, meet you in your dreams when you're sleeping. Um, they could be trying to propel themselves to you if you believe in astral projection. This person could be trying to do just that. This person has a, a little knowledge of the fact that if they continuously focus on something or someone, they can penetrate their energy so someone is definitely trying to do that with you right now because um, you are coming up as the empress okay um very abundant very fruitful very beautiful um creative uh, the mother you could be a mother um, the cards want you to know right now aquarius you're winning you're on a winning streak you are winning um, and they said, look, you got a good thing. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up going uh, backwards, you know, or entertaining energy that doesn't have any real intentions or plans for you. They just want to have you. There might be some repressed emotions that, that kind of come up at this time. Um, let it come up. Feel it. Let it flow through you and then move on. Um, 
That doesn't mean move backwards. That doesn't mean because you thought about a person all day that you need to call them. You need to text them. You need to see them. You need to be back in a relationship with them. It just means that the, the energy is still there. The thoughts, the feelings are still there. This person could also be trying to manipulate the energy. Feel it. Move on. Um, the High Priestess talks about hidden talents. Um, um, gifts. You need to cultivate those gifts. You need to share your gifts with the world. Um, also, it talks about hobbies. You need to get a positive outlet. If you're doing nothing but going to work and coming home, going to work and coming home, um, that can get very boring, mundane, and then it pushes you to an energy where maybe you start something up or you do something that is pro it's not conducive to you moving forward away from things that you don't need to be a part of um, especially for some of you who have addictions so you do need a positive outlet um, something's a little murky shady around you too if you if you feel in your gut that something is shady someone is shady it is truth if you feel that some business dealing is shady, then that is the truth of the matter. Because you also have the moon coming up. If you feel like something is a setup, it, it, or it will set you back, then that is the truth. And you don't want to disrupt your winning streak. Okay? So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Uh, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Paying for your question, receiving the answer to your question on your mobile device. Also, you could donate to the channel. If you took something from the reading, give back. It's all a blessing. Thank you, Aquarius. Take care.